The Falkland Islands are located off of the southern tip of Argentina, but have been a British territory for nearly 200 years. However, this arrangement hasn't always been an easy one, as Simon Bates explains in this week's London Calling. And as always, a reminder that Simon's opinions are his own, not necessarily reflective of CBSN. Forty years ago this summer, Argentina's dictator, General Leopoldo Galtieri, had a problem. He wanted more of his citizens to support him, so he took the nationalistic route, and on the 2nd of April 1982, Argentina mounted a surprise invasion of the Falkland Islands. Ah, the Falkland Islands. Tiny little spot in the South Atlantic that had been British since 1833. The Argentine had long laid claim to the territory, but up until 1982, things had never reached the point of war. A shocked British Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher, knew that her political future rested on decisive action. So she assembled a huge naval task force, and she sent it halfway round the world to kick the Argentine out of the Falkland Islands. And the vast proportion of the British public warmed to the support of their military. Parts of the American administration were far from convinced. There was even pressure for Washington to remain neutral between two of America's allies. But then the close personal relationship between President Ronald Reagan and Prime Minister Thatcher came into play. America ended up supplying the British with vital aviation fuel, sidewinder missiles, intelligence and satellite imagery. You even offered to lend us an aircraft carrier if one of ours was lost. Now that is a real friend. Meantime, the task force sailed south and the conflict proper began. The British sank the Argentine flagship, the General Belgrano, with the loss of 323 crew. Two days later, the Argentine sank the British destroyer HMS Sheffield. Other ships followed. Eventually, British troops marched across the islands and stormed the capital, Port Stanley, liberating the Falklands from the outgunned Argentine, who finally surrendered on the 14th of June. The conflict had lasted 74 days, with more than 900 casualties. Mrs Thatcher went on to dominate the British political scene. General Galtieri wasn't that fortunate. He spent the rest of his life in prison and internal exile. These days, Britain and Argentina have close relations, and they've agreed to differ over those windy islands in the South Atlantic. That's London Calling for today. This is Simon Bates for CBS News in Devon.